evening all. It's uh, uh, a Friday night. Well, I suppose as it's gone midnight, it would be classed as Saturday morning. Leave me alone. I am knackered. I haven't had a lot of sleep for the last couple of days. And I've been busy as frick. Frig, rather. See, I can't even talk. <laughs> um, Mum is moving this weekend. Um, I went over yesterday and bought a load of my bikes back. I actually bought two bikes back. Plus a bunch of wheels and a few other bits. Today I was over again. I've seen the bungalow for the first time. Not actually a bad place. I'm not keen on the parking arrangements. Um, because they're allocated park. There's no driveway. Just allocated parking spaces. They have two. Because apparently the way Orbit Housing do it is. One bedroom. One parking space. Two bedrooms. Two parking spaces. And then there's a visitor's car park. Um, but for security, the numbers on the spaces don't match up with your house number. So if any would-be burglars were watching you, they won't be able to associate that space with, or that number on that parking space with your house. Which is, um, that's not bad idea but then again all that someone's got to do is watch what house you go into anyway <laughs> but uh, yeah but I don't like the parking arrangements because mum's parking spaces are in front of someone else's bungalow which to me is weird you know you've got to park your car in front of someone else's house I don't like that but other than that, the bungalow is actually pretty damn nice. All energy saving CFL lamps, unfortunately, but they can be changed to LED because I've used just standard bayonet cap light fittings. So if they want to, they can switch to LED and I keep nagging them to do that. Because ever since I switched my main lights that I use frequently to LED... I'm not using nowhere near as much electric. In fact, I'm not having to hit emergency at all. <laughs> um, Fair-sized garden. A little 8x8 shed in the corner. Um, so yeah, it's not a bad bungalow. And it's not actually that far from the railway station either. I could easily push bike that, so that is also a good point. And there's a fuel station just around the corner, literally. <laughs> you literally just drive out of their housing estate and just drive around the corner to the roundabout, and that is the, that's where the fuel station is. Railway line runs right past it. Um, you can see that out of the bedroom windows. Uh, I've just got to run an aerial cable into mum's and my stepdad's bedroom because there isn't one they only put a TV aerial socket in one bedroom for some reason, I'd have done it in both because it just saves running wires around you know, you might as well have the electricians do it you know, well while a house is being built but never mind uh, so yeah, the van is being picked up at 8 o'clock in the morning, so I'm going to have to be up and about for 7, so I'm going to be going to bed shortly. <laughs> so yeah, another busy day. We do have extra hands, thankfully, and at least two cars, or I expect one of the trips will have two cars, because my sister's meeting us over at the new bungalow because she lives in the same town in Wroxham with her boyfriend <laughs> so yeah oh, pardon me uh, they're not planning to get everything done because like they said there's no rush 
but uh, on the other hand, if I know Mum, she doesn't want to be hanging it around either. She just want to get it done and dusted. But uh, unfortunately, because of stepdad's health, he ain't got the energy anymore to keep going. You know, plus he's got a sore right arm, and I don't think they've gotten to the reason for that. And since his accident, you know, he can't use his left side properly, so that does frustrate him a lot, especially when he's trying, you know, do his hobbies and things in the workshop, you know, and you've got two arms that don't do what you want them to do. That would be frustrating. And, uh, yeah, so, but at least we've got the extra hands. He's not going to set the fish tank up as a marine tank this time. He's going to go tropical. Probably because it's a lot easier. <laughs> Marine is alright, but it's a lot of work because you've got to have the um, sump tank underneath it for all the filtering and whatnot. An algae scrubber to stop the algae growing in the tank, otherwise, you'll be frequently cleaning out the algae. There's the lighting, there's setting up the water to be perfect. It's not just a case of putting water in the tank and a heater to bring the water up to temperature, you know, and a little filter in the corner. No, marine tank has is a hell of a lot more work. It does take dedication. I don't think he realised that when he um, first set it up. But, uh, don't get me wrong, they are nice when they are set up. They are just, they're high maintenance. And uh, and the other thing I was going to say has just completely gone out of my head. Yeah, the high maintenance and uh, a lot of work to set up. But uh, yeah, so he's going to go tropical this time. It's going to be sad not to have a pond anymore, because I used to like sitting out in the garden and just watching the fish in the pond, but never mind can't have everything I suppose and I don't think Orbit Housing would appreciate us digging up their nice new lawn to put a friggin pond in it. Although I actually have to say that I'm not impressed with the landscaping. Obviously to save on time they don't use grass seed they buy in turf and lay turf but the job is so shit they didn't rotivate and level the ground before they put the turf on. So it's all bleh, all over the fucking place. It looks horrible. But that's... To me, that's the only bugbear I can find. As well as the um, decorator was shit, because he didn't cut in around the light switches very well. Because he's got it all around the edge of the light switch. <clears throat> but other than that, I think they're the only two niggles I can find. Uh, yeah, I can't, well, the only two niggles I've got. Apart from that, everything seems, uh, okay. Even the toilet seat is half decent. You might be wondering why I bring that up. Because Victory Housing, I've been in one of their houses that they built across town. And the toilet seat is just the thinnest, flimsiest fucking plastic you can imagine. I would actually be scared of sitting on it in case it broke. But uh, they haven't skimped that much on these houses, thankfully. But yeah, unless you've got keen eye to detail like me and my brother have and notice that they've got paint around the edge of the light switch. Not on the faceplate, just around the edge where they cut in. But yeah, we <laughs> we have a keen eye for de um, detail like that. I've even got a light in the attic. And I've got a feeling that's where the TV antenna is going to be. So I'm going to have to spur off of that somehow. I wonder if I can connect an another cable directly to it. So I don't have to spur into the existing cable. That would make life a bit easier. As far as... a any other electrical work to do? Not a lot. <laughs> uh, stepdad wants me to put an outside weatherproof um, power outlet on the wall. Uh, which is 
just going to run the workshop. Not the best way to do it, but it's going to be using a lot less electric than the other work, or their, his current workshop at the, their old house, current house, call it what you will. And that is, bit, um, all it is, is plugged into a 13 amp wall outlet like that. And you see, I've got videos on my Facebook of the workshop. You know, there's four fluorescent lights in there. Five, six lights if you have them on in the lean-to as well. In the wooden lean-to. Plus all the power tools in there. And it's been absolutely perfectly fine. But, you know, he's not using four or five power tools at the same time. So I think it's borderline. He uses like one power tool at a time with the lights. So it's it's borderline. And like I said, with the new workshop, it's probably going to have two fluorescent lights in because I think where it's going to go, I'll put them lengthways instead of across like I did in the um, current workshop. I only did it that way because it was easier due to where the wires the um, existing wires were that's why I did it that way but uh, I could have done it the other way actually thinking about it oh well but yeah I'm gonna go lengthways and then maybe have certain work lights like some spotlights for example I've got a few above specific machinery and um, I'll get him to buy some LED bulbs to put in them but uh, yeah I think as long as you keep that it'll be borderline but we're going to run a quite a thick cable out there as well and it's all RCD protected because I'm going to put RCD fuse box in the workshop as well you know, as well as the ring main and the house being protected by an RCD so if anything did go tits up, it's going to trip out anyway. But, uh, yeah. I would recommend that you don't do it my way. <laughs> Not unless you don't give a shit. <laughs> Put it out on my lap. Oh, my boots stink. Of cat shit. Yep, I didn't stand in dog shit, I stood in cat shit today. Because I didn't know where Biggles' caravan was at the old place. Um, the landlord's cat has been using the muddy patch, or the dirt patch, as his litter tray, basically. And I've been cutting across it to the workshop. And I was wondering why Stepdad kept going round the usual way. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, that's a long way to go around. I know why now. Because that area's full of cat shit and I keep standing in it. I'm getting pissed off, I keep standing in it. Um, I've got most of my bike parts back here. Did another load today. Don't think I've got anything else. But I literally cannot get in the outside cupboard. And I can't get in the shed either. They're just full. The shed is pretty much full floor to roof back wall to the door I really could do with the three bikes I've got for sale selling so I've got a bit of room and I can sort out in there I bet they'll probably sell a bit closer at Christmas because uh, if people are going to want them as a Christmas present they may not have anywhere to store them so I am just I am being as patient as I can <laughs> isn't helping because I just want them gone out of my way <laughs> I've got one on the landing to do to get out of my way I've got a ladies one in the shed to do to get out of my way but the only problem is if I build them I've got nowhere to fucking put them anyway <laughs> so I've literally got to clear the ones I've got before I can actually Put any more together and fix any more up. I've got one of my own to fix. 
to three speed, it's me Ellswick. I'll bring that up one day and show you. It's locked out front because it's the only place I've bloody got to put it. <sighs> the drawbacks of living in a flat. I've got wheels coming out my ass. I bought 16 wheels home today. I do believe there's at least one more there hiding underneath the ride on lawnmower. There's a couple I threw on the trailer for scrap because they just weren't worth bringing. There's two there that are 20 inch wheels but I'm not sure I'm going to bother with them because I ain't got use for them. I've got spares here if I need any for my trailer. I've actually got two or three spares kicking around here if I need any for the trailer. So, I don't think I'll bother bringing them. I've got spare tyres as well, so that's not a problem. Might pinch the tubes out of them though, because I don't have spare tubes. Not that many. <sighs> I don't know what I've been chatting for. Ooh. Only half an hour. I could actually go on and on and on because I've got a hell of a lot. I've got a few days worth of stuff I've been up to that, you know, <laughs> I just haven't done. Mum actually surprised me today. I was just sitting at the kitchen table. I can't remember what I was doing. Doing something at the kitchen table. And she just asks... What My Little Pony stuff do you want? Because I am recently a Baroni. As you know, because I've already shown all that stuff. <laughs> Damn, some of these go for a lot of money as well. People are crazy. Actually, I've seen a set of six plushy soft toys. Uh, and they are being sold for £1,200. And I've said another one, which is a life-size one from the Equestria Girls series, for £300. But they're not official licensed Hasbro products. They are fan-made, which is very often better than the Hasbro. But, in Hasbro's defence, they make their products as toys. So they've got to keep, you know, within a budget to keep the toys on their products, you know, within the sort of toy price range. Which is fair enough, you know, it is meant for kids after all. <laughs> or big kids like me. I freely admit that. What the fuck? That was a bit cardboard. I am just a big kid at heart. I adult when I need to adult. When I don't need to adult, I'm just a big kid. Phew. Alright. I'm going to turn this off. And I've got, I've got two videos to put up, actually. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to piss off to bed. So... Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, actually, going back to what Mum asked, I wasn't even going to ask for anything My Little Pony related for Christmas. Because even though I'm 33, she still buys me things for Christmas. You know, like I'm bloody three or something. <laughs> Mother's, eh? But, uh, yeah, because I was just too embarrassing, you know. How can you? How can a 33-year-old man go at the mum and say, I want this for Christmas, I want a pony. No, I'd rather buy them myself. That's embarrassing enough. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you at some point over the weekend. We're actually moving everything tomorrow. Or starting to, so... <sighs> Not looking forward to it. Anyway, bye.